Hi friends, welcome to my channel Biology for All. Today I am going to discuss the 8th part of a previous question for the post of Scientific Officer Biology for Science Laboratory. Let us move to the question. The question is, aerobic breakdown of 6 carbon glucose yields 38 ATP. How many ATP molecules are produced by a fatty acid having 18 carbon? And the options are A, 114, B, 147, C, 48, and D, 76. This question is about the breaking down of fatty acid. Okay, and they asked about how many ATP molecules are produced by a fatty acid having 18 carbon. Okay, there is no relevance for the first part of the question. That is, aero breakdown of 6 carbon glucose yield 38 ATP. And uh, they provided that part in the question you have to confuse you people. Okay. So, we have to concentrate on uh, the second part of the question. That is how many ATP molecules are produced by a fatty acid having 18 carbon. Okay. You know that the process of uh, breakdown of fatty acid is known as beta oxidation of fatty acid. Okay. And this beta oxidation of fatty acid mainly takes place in mitochondrial matrix. Okay. But the activation of fatty acid takes place in the cytoplasm or cytosol. Consider if a fatty acid having uh, 8 carbon atom undergo beta oxidation. In the first round of uh, beta oxidation, what we will get? We will get a 2 carbon acetyl CoA and 6 carbon fatty acyl CoA. Okay, then what happens? So this 2 carbon acetyl CoA enters the Krebs cycle or citric acid cycle or TCA cycle and produces 12 ATP. You know that when, a, when an acetyl CoA enters the Krebs cycle, a single round of Krebs cycle will produce how many ATP? Remember 12 ATP molecule. Okay, once, I, once again I am telling when a fatty acid having 8 carbon atom undergo beta oxidation of fatty acid in the first round of cycle what happens this um, fatty acid having 8 carbon atom breaks into 2 carbon containing acetyl coa and 6 carbon containing fatty acyl coa isn't it and this 2 carbon containing acetyl coa enters the Krebs cycle and produce 12 atp molecule and the remaining 6 carbon containing fatty acyl CoA again undergo the next round of what? Beta oxidation of fatty acid. Okay, when that 6 carbon containing fatty acyl CoA undergo beta oxidation of fatty acid will yield what? Will yield 2 carbon acetyl CoA and 4 carbon fatty acyl CoA. Okay, this 2 carbon acyl CoA, acetyl CoA again enter the Krebs cycle and will yield 12 ATP molecule okay and the uh, 4 carbon uh, fatty acyl CoA again undergo beta oxidation of uh, fatty acid and will yield uh, 2 carbon acetyl CoA plus again 2 carbon acetyl CoA okay and these two molecules of acetyl CoA again undergo Krebs cycle each molecule will produce 12 ATP okay my point is that fatty acid will undergo beta oxidation of fatty acid until it breaks into two molecules of two carbon acetyl CoA. Okay, the fatty acetyl CoA get converted finally into what two finally into what two carbon acetyl CoA and this acetyl CoA again enter the Krebs cycle. Okay. Okay, I am asking you a question that is when a 8 carbon containing fatty acid undergo beta oxidation of fatty acid, how many cycle of beta oxidation will occur? How many? At first the 8 uh, um, carbon containing fatty acid uh, undergo beta oxidation to produce 2 carbon acetyl CoA and 4 carbon, carbon fatty, acid fatty acid CoA. Okay, that is one cycle. Next one. This 4, uh, this uh, a 6 carbon fatty acyl CoA again undergo the second round of uh, beta oxidation of fatty acid to produce 2 carbon acetyl CoA and what? 4 carbon fatty acyl CoA. 
again this four carbon fatty acid coy undergo the third round of uh, beta oxidation of fatty acid to give what uh, two molecules of acetyl coy that is acetyl coy plus acetyl coy so when a eight carbon containing fatty acid undergo beta oxidation of fatty acid it will perform how many uh, round of beta oxidation fatty acid cycle three round of beta oxidation fatty acid cycle so likewise we have to calculate that is in the question they are asking about um, an 18 carbon containing fatty acid undergo breakdown that is beta oxidation fatty acid then how many uh, cycle it will perform how many cycle of beta oxidation fatty acid will perform by that 18 carbon containing fatty acid calculate Suppose I am giving you a chain containing uh, 18 beads. You have to break that chain into fragments containing two beads only. Then uh, you know to convert that uh, long chain into uh, two uh, fra into fragments containing two beads. How many times you people have to break the chain? You got it? Yes. Eight times you have to. Uh, break down that chain to get fragments of two bits okay likewise uh, in order to break that um, 18 carbon containing fatty acid how many round of uh, beta oxidation of uh, fatty acid will occur absolutely eight round of beta oxidation of fatty acid will occur remember single round or a single cycle of beta oxidation fatty acid will produce one FADH2 and one NADH. You know that one FADH2 on electron transport chain will produce what? Two molecules of ATP. Okay, and uh, one NADH will yield how many ATP? Three molecules of ATP. Remember, one FADH2 undergo electron transport chain to produce two ATP and one NADH will produce 3 ATP. You know that these are FADH2 and NADH are high energy compounds. That's why they are producing more than one ATP. Okay. But according to modern energy concept, one FADH2 will produce 1.5 ATP and one NADH will produce 2.5 ATP. But all the concept, one FADH2 will produce 2 ATP and one NADH will produce 3 ATP. Remember this point. Okay. Okay, in beta oxidation fatty acid, at first the fatty acid should be activated. And this activation of uh, fatty acid takes place in the cytoplasm or cytosol. Remember, not in the mitochondria. Okay, and the activation of uh, fatty acid requires 2 ATP. That is, 2 ATP molecules are consumed for or utilized for the activation of fatty acid. And this activation of fatty acid takes place in where cytoplasm or cytosol these activated fatty acids are then transported from the cytoplasm to the mitochondrial matrix by a transport system known as carnithine transport system so remember for the activation of fatty acid two atp molecules are consumed okay so we, uh, when we are going to calculate the atp molecules uh, from the fatty acid we have to consider this also here two atp molecules are consumed how the these two atp molecules are consumed okay uh, you you know that the in the activation step the fatty acid in the cytoplasm react with the one molecule of atp okay but in the one molecule of atp from the one molecule of atp two molecules of phosphates are added to where the fatty acid Okay, as a result, uh, that one molecule of ATP is uh, converted into AMP, adenosine monophosphate. Okay, adenosine monophosphate then again convert into what? ADP. For that process, one ATP is also utilized. So, whenever ATP get converted into AMP, uh, it is equivalent to the consumption of two ATP molecules. Okay, okay. That's why in the activation step, that is fatty acid activation step, two ATP molecules are con consumed or utilized. Okay, I think uh, now you got uh, the basic idea to calculate 
ATP. Okay. Okay. So ATP produced by the breakdown of fatty acid having 18 carbon atom. Okay, you know that the fatty acid having 18 carbon atom is nothing but it is stearic acid. Stearic acid. Okay. How many uh, round of uh, beta oxidation cycle will the, that stearic acid will perform? 8 round. Okay. So, number of beta oxidation cycle is equal to 8. Okay. 1 round of beta oxidation cycle will produce, you know that, 1 FADH2 and 1 NADH, isn't it? So, 8 round of beta oxidation cycle will produce 8 FADH2 and 8 NADH. Okay, 8 FADH2 is equal to 16 ATP, 8 NADH is equal to 24 ATP. Okay, because 1 FADH2 is equal to 2 ATP, 1 NADH is equal to 3 ATP. Okay, then fatty acid with 18 carbon atom will produce how many acetyl CoA at last? Uh, it will produce 9 acetyl CoA. And each and every acetyl CoA will enter into Krebs cycle. So, as soon as this 9 acetyl CoA is formed, this 9 acetyl CoA enter the Krebs cycle. And each round of Krebs cycle will produce how many ATP? 12 ATP. So, 9 acetyl CoA will produce 9 into 12, 108 ATP. So, the total ATP produced by the breakdown of 18 carbon uh, fatty acid is 148 ATP. Okay, but from this 148 ATP, you have to reduce 2 ATP. Why? Because the 2 ATP is consumed for the activation of fatty acid. Remember. Okay. So, 148 minus 2, the answer is 146 ATP. Okay. Okay. Look at the question at option once again. Okay. We have got the answer 146. But in the option, you can find only 147. Why? Because in the older concept, uh, for the activation of fatty acid, uh, only one ATP is required. Okay, that is the older concept. Okay, but uh, nowadays we know that for the activation of fatty acid, two ATP molecules are uh, consumed or utilized. So, you have to reduce or subtract two ATP molecule from the uh, uh, gross ATP, that is 148. Okay, so as per the uh, new concept, the correct answer is 146. Anyway, the answer given by the uh, given by PSC is B option that is 147. Okay, I think you people now came here to calculate uh, such a type of uh, question that is uh, uh, how many ATPs are produced from the fatty acid. You you have to go through the entire video, then you will get um, uh, somewhat idea able to calculate the ATP from fatty acid having any carbon number okay soon um, i will upload uh, the carbon number of fatty acid easy way to study the carbon number of fatty acid and uh, the entire cycle of beta oxidation after the discussion of the previous year question okay so for this question the most appropriate answer is the option b okay anyway the uh, the accurate answer is not 147, is it? It is, it is 146. Okay. Thanks for watching. As the video is too long, I will upload the remaining uh, question and its discussion later. If you want to uh, watch the previous uh, discussions, I will uh, mention the link in the description box. Thank you. If you people really feel worthy of my video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Keep in touch and stay safe. Thank you.